Hi guys, good morning, afternoon, and evening. What a crazy list of events and races that have occurred within just the past 24 hours. Let's get right into it, unfiltered. I'm just going in because it's nationals. There's so many races and you can't just be making like fancy cut videos. So this is a broadcast that I'm doing live at my base here in the middle of Michigan. All right, so let's take a look. I wanna focus on the women's 5,000 because it was such an incredible race, but honestly, it was expected. Top three in the finals, Elise Cranny, incredible time of 32. Again, eh. uh, this was not spectacular to me. I knew they were gonna hit these marks, it was expected, but Regardless, congratulations. Second place was Elisa Munson, and third place was Natasha Rogers. All had great times here. Definitely going to Worlds. Let us take a look at the fourth. We had Winnie Caletti and Carissa Switzer. I think she was in the 5,000 last year. I'm not too sure if she ran the 10,000, but it looks like she is on a healthy track now, and very strong 32 32 is a great time so it's definitely good to see her out here i think that puts her in really great shape qualifying standards was i believe a 31 to have an automatic spot in this race let's take a look at college athletes that also ran in the 10 we had Emily Venters of Utah, Amanda Vestry of Syracuse. Who else? We had several, yes. North Carolina, we had Alexandria Hayes, and I believe that was it. India Johnson from Colorado finished with a time of 34.58. What I do want to take a look at is post-race interviews. Plotrack did a wonderful job. I think that when they do post-race interviews, it shows another side of track and field, great personalities. I want to see like a separate division of flow track, call it flow track USA, flow track Europe, because I think sometimes when you go into the YouTube channel, it's really cluttered with a lot of different athletes, which I can understand, you're global, but if they could kind of branch it out like in different portions call it us flow track europe and so far so it's less cluttered i know flow track podcast is really focused on the us which is good definitely want to highlight the elise cranny video post race interview i thought was excellent alicia monson as well both ladies did say that they are running the 5000 which it's not a surprise. I think they still have a lot left in the tank. And I definitely know Caitlin Tui will be in the 5,000 <laughs> meters as well. Let's just say it's going to be really competitive, really strong out there. And I definitely see Elise Cranny and Alicia Monsoon definitely dominating. I don't know how these ladies do it. Elise, Elise Cranny, from what I understand, was supposed to run the 1500 as well that's literally a speed race i'm glad she didn't run it she decided last minute hey i'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna do a 10k and later on the 5k which i think was a smart move i think she's also based out in the eugene oregon area from my understanding and when they run altitude hey it sounds like they love it so which is great I don't have much to comment on this race, but I think it was an excellent race. And if you guys want to see it, I can find clips of it somewhere. NBC should have it on. But let me turn my attention back to other things I wanted to notice or spotlight. No, that's pretty much it. Winnie Caletti, 3230. She's also in the 5K race and Carissa Switzer as well. Boy, boy, Kaitlyn Tui does have some tough competition, but I'm at least glad that Kaitlyn Tui is running at Nationals. 
she has time to really get her speed up, but she's also in my surprise list. So if Caitlyn Tui goes beast mode, I won't be surprised if she ends up top three or as an alternate, hey, she's had time to rest her legs. So I like to keep her on the surprise list, but definitely great women's 10,000 10, meter race. And that's all I have for this video, guys. If you were expecting fancy races and cuts, this is different. Because nationals, you got to go live because things are moving so fast and incredible that I don't have time to edit videos and such. Uh, let, let's go over some shorts here. I made some shorts recently. Now, there's a bit of controversy about this short for people. The only time Caitlin Tui lost, guys, this was part of a video. So my editor clipped it, and that was the part that was interesting to a lot of viewers. So to put it in perspective, Caitlin Tui did a great job. Clearly, she did not come in first place at Nationals, but the way she's competed this season has been great. And to not win, come on. Like, she's won, like, literally all of her races. So I don't think it's, it's like, fair to look down on just because she did not win anything in the finals. You got to think of the bigger picture here, which is that she had the endurance, she had the stamina, now, if she does run the 5 and 10 or 15 and decides to stay one extra year at NC State, I think she will have enough strength to really crush it. So this was a test. And I think a lot of some people were overreacting to the short clip. I thought it was like, okay, you know, it was great. But again, it was taken from the long format video. Uh, short Clips has been doing well. You guys liked it. I'll, my editor will be doing more. He works independently, so he just goes into my videos and looks at which parts are interesting. I don't know how he figures it out, but he's able to do it, and he's able to make some great cuts and find clips. One thing I did take note is that Robert did point out that the clips did not relate or tie into the actual NCAA race. So I'll at least let my editor know, hey, make sure you get the right clips before making these shorts. So that's one of the recommendations that I got from Robert. Um, yeah, the Caitlin Tui shorts has been killing it. The Abby Steiner shorts has been killing it as well. What else? And that's pretty much all I want to talk about. All right, so when is the 5,000? Let's go to the USA Outdoor. Um, I think the 5,000 is on the last day. Let's go to schedule here. July 9th. Yes, it's on July 9th. And if we go into it, women's 5,000 meters. Oop, that's men's. I'm glad there's a separation between women's and men's due to all the politics. Okay, women's start list. Let's take a look. We got Hannah Stillman, Katie Wasserman, Maddie Alm, Katie Camarina, Ali Boschaliski, Katie Izu, Whitney Morgan, you're going to crush it, Anna Ulser, Fiona O'Keefe, Andrea Ronensfels, Taylor Winner, Caitlin Tui, 1503. Her fastest time this season, personal best. Emily Lampierly, Abby Nicholas, Adna Krugat, Bethany Hayes, Natasha Rogers, Josetta Andrews, Elise Cranning. Obviously, you're going to be there with Nicoletti. Going to be there. Carissa Switzer, Alicia Monson, definitely. Carissa Switzer, excuse me, guys, that's my phone. I hate when my phone goes off when I'm making the video. Should be responsible and turn that thing off. Alisa Monsoon, Ellie Haynes, and Emily Infield. I think everyone will be waiting to see the women's 5,000, and that's going to be really badass. All right, guys, please like, share this video, and have a great day.